Hey, what's up everybody? Speaker Hill. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be a quick one on how to get better FPS in Daisy Mod Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. Because my last video worked for most of you. Uh, pretty good feedback on that. But some of you have still been getting some bad performance out of it. And I'm hoping that this can be like a second option. It's not especially going to give you better results, but maybe for some people it will work better than the other video. So give it a shot and see what you think. Alright, so, as you can see, this looks pretty good for, for Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. Just hope that Shadowplay is going to um, record it well. And here are my settings. Oh yeah, I'm hovering at about 70-something to 80 FPS right now, so that's pretty good. Right, so I'm playing at 1440p, which is more taxing than 1080p that most of you play at. So, right, interface resolution is your screen resolution, pretty much. Now, the big change that I made is the 3D resolution. Before, I used to tell you to set it to 100%, always. But now, I'm telling you that you can set it higher than 100%. Try setting it to like 120, 125%, depending on the next settings. All right, well, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Anyway, texture detail, I set that to very high because I like my textures to have detail. But of course, if you're having bad performance, you can set that to anything between very high and low. No problem at all. Video memory, this has to be at default. Always default. Uh, thingamajig filtering, disabled. Anti-aliasing, keep that on low or disabled. The higher you set your render, 3D render resolution right here, th the less you're going to have to need anti-aliasing. It's going to look naturally better on its own. I keep it to low just to have a little bit, but my render resolution here does most of the work. ATOC, just disable that, it, unless you want your trees to look fantastic. I mean, it makes the trees look a lot better, but it's also hard to spot people that are hiding inside the trees. So you might want to think about that, and it's also kind of taxing on the system. You'll lose quite a few FPS with that. Terrain detail, now here's the big change. I keep that on normal now, even though I was really strongly defending keeping it on the highest possible settings. Keep that on normal, same thing with object detail. I used to have it very high, now it's on normal. And the other big change is shadow detail. Now this is important. If you set it to very high, it's going to use your graphics card mostly. It's, it taxes your graphics card more than your processor. If you set it to high, for some reason it's going to tax your processor. Now Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead is a very processor heavy game. It really taxes like one core on your processor and that's why we get such fluctuations in FPS. It's not made to, to support this kind of load. So. Set that to very high, and hopefully that will use your graphics card more than your processor. Of course, I mean, you always have the option to disable it completely, but and if you want the game to look good while maintaining pretty good performance, set that to very high and lower these settings up here. HDR quality, set that to normal. PPAA disabled completely. And then the rest is pretty much up to you. I mean, V-Sync, disable that. I mean, it just locks the frame rate with your with your screen frame rate, um, refresh rate. Uh, it's not very useful at all for DayZ and uh, for aspect ratio and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I made another video on that. It's not very important. Yes, post-processing, set that disabled. Uh, it makes a hit on performance and it looks like shit. <laughs> anyway, that's those are my settings now and hopefully it will help some of you out. I'm not saying that you will guaranteed get better results than with my other video. I mean, maybe for some people you won't even get as good results as before. But for others, it could actually help out quite a bit. Personally, this is what I use now. I'm very satisfied with the look of it. It just looks crisper overall. Like, at, at a distance, everything looks clean and crisp. And that's something I really, really like. Uh, I found that spotting people that were uh, farther away for some reason, even though that I defended very strongly keeping object detail to a maximum to be able to spot people farther away. Well, for some reason, I have a much easier time spotting people running out of the corner of my eye that are very far away with these kind of settings. It's just that much clearer. So anyway, I hope this video was useful for some of you and uh, leave me down in the comments below your results. And of course, I'll link the other video too so that you have the two options to switch in between. It gives you kind of two guidelines, I guess, to follow to try and get better FPS. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all real soon. Speaker, signing off. Great job.